Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Today is November 26, 2020, at approximately 6.04 a.m. I would like to make a quick video stating Happy Thanksgiving to the entire world that celebrates Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, nothing too crazy is that I was, um, I tested positive for COVID-19 slash coronavirus. Not today, but I just thought that the good rendition or a good start would be Happy Thanksgiving. Let me start off by stating something positive, and then I'll tell you my COVID story. Ah, <sighs> so Tuesday, November seventeenth, I go to work. I work in an office setting, and I have coworkers. I was with one co-worker for eight hours. No worries, no problems. No symptoms on both ends. That co-worker's husband works a later shift in a different area, at a different point, at a different job. She went home, I went home, we went about our lives. And I come in the next morning and my supervisor states that your co-worker had to stay home today because her husband didn't feel good. Oh, and she had to get the kids on the bus because that's what life is. When you're married with kids, you don't have to be married, but when you have kids, you know, there's schooling. So she had to stay home Wednesday, November 18th. Her husband woke up like complete dog shit and... He took a rapid test at whatever location and it came back positive. Then he got the PCR. I think it's PCR. It's when they stick the white tube up on your nostrils. And it goes in and out. And it comes down. Correct me if it's not PCR. Okay. So now she needs to stay home because she cannot come to work because her husband tested positive. So she had to go and get the two kids from school. Because protocol states that as soon as someone is positive in your household where the kids live, you have to take the kids out of school. Well, you should. So she did. So that was Wednesday. Her husband, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, felt like complete crap. Flu-like symptoms. Sneezing, coughing, wheezing, hazy, uh, ha hazy headache, cold shivering, sweats, that whatever, whatever, you know, that is. I spoke to her Thursday afternoon while I was driving home from work. She said that she started to feel like crap. And I'm sure it builds. <clears throat> uh, Friday, I get a phone call at 1.30. She states that she just tested positive through the rapid test. I think that you should get tested at some point because I was with you all day Tuesday. And again, I'm not going to bore you with this video. We do not know the strands and the stems of, well, I got it Tuesday. Well, you got it Wednesday. Well, I tested negative Thursday, but you tested positive. All I know is that she tested positive for Friday. Take it with a grain of salt. Whether it takes two days to get, it takes three days to get, it takes six days to get. That's up to you. CDC, Google, medical journals, whatever. I'm just letting you know what's happening in my life. So Friday I came home from work. I told my wife, and she's like, all right, let's get tested. Well, at least me. Well, the problem with that is the entire world, especially the East Coast, is getting tested. And some people are just getting tested to get tested. Uh, I also didn't know this. Not being naive, just didn't care to know, is that when you come back from a different state, you're supposed to get tested. So a lot of these people on the East Coast are traveling, even for your job, and you're supposed to get tested. Okay. So let's fast forward to picking up the phone and trying to get tested. Everything is booked. For three, four, five days. Waiting in line is ridiculous, because that's four to six hours. Uh, there's no waiting in line in some places. They wait in your car. You take your phone number. No problem. So I ended up calling 
people through people through people and someone said, oh, call this phone number. They usually have a two-day turnaround. <laughs> so I called this phone number. Hi, this is Dr. So-and-so's office. How may I help you? I'd like to get COVID tested. Okay, no problem. Our first available appointment is Sunday, 11.22 at 11 a.m. Prob no problem. Okay, name, phone number. Okay, thank you. See you then. I end up, I end up getting a phone call back from one of the urgent cares. Uh, hi, Mr. So-and-so. This is so-and-so. Um, there's an opening right now. You said that you are three minutes away? Yes, by click. I drove there. I waited in the waiting room. You know, blood pressure, and finger stick, which is the oxygen and the, the heart rate. Everything's normal. Okay, what brings you in today? Oh, I don't know, Tuesday. Okay, well, uh, you know, the PA said it usually takes five to eight days to get any symptoms or even to sometimes get a positive. I'm not going to do the rapid test on you because you said that you're showing no signs. Your temperature is 98.7. Your blood pressure is fine. You have a headache? No. You have a sore throat? Uh, no. You have a stuffy nose? I said, well, technically, uh, no. Friday had nothing. Okay, you know, thank you. Bye. I go home Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I go to work Monday. Uh, I go to work all day. I'm alone on Monday. Um, because now she's full blown. Her and her husband are just in the bed with the kids, just, <laughs> you know, dying. Knock on wood, but figuratively. Tuesday morning, I wake up. My nose is completely <laughs> shut and stuffed. Not shut, but, you know, stuffed. All right, I take some hot water. I try to clean myself up for work, and one nostril breaks up. You know, you do the. <laughs> I go to work. I drink tea at work, uh, hot tea. I bring a tea kettle from Target or Walmart. It was like twelve bucks. You know, I got a cup. I said it's an office setting, whatever. I'm drinking two, three cups of tea, and then I'm getting that. Like you feel it, like moving, like throughout the day. You're like, what? Ah, it's popping. I feel it. no throat. No coughing, no no headache, no hot, no cold. <sighs> I'm sorry. Fifth, rewind. When's uh, that Sunday the 22nd? I went in. Hi, my name's Joe. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, thanks for the test. And I left. Sorry. That was you know, Monday, Tuesday. Okay. I'm driving home Tuesday at 4.30. I get a phone call from a random number. And it's Dr. So-and-so's office. Hi, can I speak to you know, Mr. So-and-so speaking? How are you doing? Uh, I'm so sorry to tell you, but your test came back positive for coronavirus. Okay, yes, we forward this to the, uh, whatever, New York State Health, and then they'll get in contact with you. Okay, thank you, click. So I come home, well, I was in the driveway. I tell my wife, and now it's like, well, well, now it's all, <laughs> it's legitimately irrelevant, because if I tested positive Sunday at 11 a.m., but I tested negative Friday at 5.30, my wife and I were together with my baby Sunday, Monday, Tuesday until I got the test results. So quarantine, shutting yourself down, living in a goddamn basement or going to a hotel, yeah, you have your opinion and you have your right to leave me an opinion in the comment section. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not entertaining your dramatic bullshit and telling me what to do. My wife and I has been exposed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday until I got the test results. And my wife just said, well, she's fine. My daughter's fine. So let's just live our life. Let's consciously not share things and stuff. But she's like, I'm not going to not sleep in the same bedroom. And so we decided to just go about life and knock on wood that I did not get the same symptoms or not yet um, that my current coworkers have when they had the flu-like symptoms. I can tell you that uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesday, November uh, 25th, I did lose my smell and my taste. In order to test that is I got something real potent. My wife got one of those little uh, cinnamon infuser things, and when you pop the cover, you could definitely smell whatever that liquid is. She said she gave me something. I couldn't tell her what it is, and she's like, it was cinnamon, and I couldn't smell cinnamon. I like anchovies, so we had pizza last night, so I put the anchovies on the pizza, and usually you get that fucking fish smell, nothing, 
I couldn't even taste the fish. My taste buds didn't even pucker up. I was just eating pizza. So, as of uh, right now, it's 6.14. I haven't retested that, but I'm sure it's still not working. Which, um, it's so funny how the body just gets rid of those senses. Let's hope they come back. Um, to go backwards a little bit, my co-workers said that they feel a little better. They're groggy, but they lost their taste and their smell. So they did the flu, and then they lost the taste and the smell. I just knock on wood, got a stuffy nose. And then yesterday, I lost my taste and smell. So maybe I got extremely lucky where I didn't have flu-like symptoms. And listen, I also have been taking vitamin C after each lunch for a month and elderberries the elderberries is like iron and also vitamin c i take that in the morning i can't tell you that that's worked or that is working but what i can tell you that from the middle of september leading into the holidays i usually start that to boost my immune system because who wants to be sick for thanksgiving and christmas halloween and new year's i could care less about but who really wants it so i try to take that in the morning I take something called elderberries. It's gummies. It's infused with zinc and all that. And I pop it in. I clean my face. I get ready for work. After lunch at work, I take two 500 milligrams of vitamin C. I don't know if it's working. I don't know if I piss it out. I don't know if I crap it out. I don't know if my body needs it. If your body doesn't need something, it comes out. So this is what I sound like right now. I don't have a sore throat, my glands are not swollen, my ears are not plugged, I don't, uh, my neck hurts from sleeping, but I do not have a headache, and I'm making this video, and I feel fine, I have tea with lemon, I'm letting it cool down, so that's my story, Morning Glory, uh, I tested positive, 11, Sunday, 11:22. so hopefully, by the grace of God, I could stay home for 14 full days, which would leave me going back to work, I think, Monday the 6th, I believe, it's, or the 7th, whatever that Monday is. But that's my business, and that's my phone calls and my emails. So I'm just letting you know, happy Thanksgiving. Do not downplay this virus. Unfortunately, we all know what happened starting last March into February. I'm sorry, March into April, May, and all the lives and that were lost and the underlining issues that people have with their hearts and their respiratories and I can't tell you how lucky I am that maybe my wife and my daughter don't ever get it and this is all I got 2020 COVID and it's a stuffy nose and no taste listen I'm not going to sit here and uh, downplay it but I will take that any day compared to knock on wood sitting in a hospital on a ventilator because I had some kind of weird issue I didn't know about. And God bless all those souls that we've lost um, throughout the world. Just because you're in New York, it doesn't mean the person in Spain doesn't deserve a shout out because he died or she died, especially in Italy when they were just getting turned around last, well not last year, March and April and May and they just died of 65 and over, they were just dying. But anyway, you could Google all those statistics. God bless everybody. Health and happy, if you can, which is kind of irrelevant right now, but if you can, maybe your 20-plus people could be 10. Maybe your 12 could be 8. Leave the children and elderly home. Support them, feed them, make them feel comfortable, but... The good old Italian days of having 63 people in a, you know, a, a, a Thanksgiving. I don't know. My Thanksgiving is canceled. We're not going anywhere. We're staying home and having chicken wings. It's okay. It's one day. I have a family. I have a telephone. Uh, it's not like they're coming in from Colorado, and I haven't seen them in, since last year. So... Anyway, that's enough of your time. I'll be posting this up right this second. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Prepare yourself. Wash your hands. And stay tubed for other obnoxious funny videos. Because I think I'm going to make a glove video. And as and why you should not wear them. Again, my opinion. Thank you. And I feel fine. So thank you for the warm thoughts. 
warm thoughts ahead of time. 